Hello, Julia. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. A little tired. Uh-huh. How was your day? Um, it was very hard because that, that last weekend I had some seminars in three days and then I have a lot of work <laughs> from so, the last week. Okay, so for three days you say you have, I, I couldn't hear the last part. You said for three no, days? My connection is not so good today. Okay. Okay, so what time do you usually arrive to your house? Um, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, uh, I arrive uh, 5.30 or 5.40. Oh, that's early. Where do you live, yes. Julia? Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana, uh, near to the... Uh, Fonteca Hotel. Oh, okay, that's that's nice. I have a friend that he lives on the other side. He lives in Colonias Buenos Aires. He's in front of. In front of the stadium. Fonteca Hotel. No, on the other side. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's in, near, near Buffalo Wings. The other side, yeah. Okay, so I you are near. So, ah, okay. you are from Santana. Yes. Where do you work, but Julia? I work, from, I work in Lourdes, Colón, for Salva. Oh, really? Where? In Planta Santana. Oh, okay. And what's the name of your company? Fruit of the Loom. Oh, Fruit of the Loom. Okay, good. Yes. Many years ago, I had the chance to work with some ladies from Fruit of the Loom. Um, they were, I think one of them, she was the human resources manager. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, I don't know if, if, do you know human resources people? Yes. I, for, I forgot the names, but... Um, they were in one of my classes. Yep. Mm, there are a lot of because there are uh, there is now for plants, but before that there were uh, uh, five. Five plants. Yeah. So there is a lot of people. Yeah. In my plant, uh, in almost. 3,000 people. 3,000? 300 or 3,000? 300 or 3,000? 3,000, yes. That's a lot. A lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Welcome, Ricardo, Martin, and Nidia. Hey, hello, teacher. How was your day? Wow, well, and it was uh, pretty good. Uh huh. Work and work. Work and work, but it's okay. Good, it's good. Somebody good. has to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, good. And you, Nidia, how was your day? It was easy. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know what happened, but it was very quiet. Yes, yes, unusually okay. quiet, yes. Okay, so usually you're always doing something, I imagine. Yes, it's very hard with problems and emails and operations and everything, but sure. today was boring. It w so that is unusual in your place? Yes, yes. Okay, what about you, Martin? <clears throat> um, I have a amazing day today. Uh huh. Because 
we can finish a project that we're working on. We're working on it. Okay. So we can present the the final project to the director boards, I guess. Yeah, board of directors. Board of directors and they approve it. Oh, approve. good. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. Karen, how are you doing? Are you better? Um, uh, I can say it's better, but this is really, really weird because I have nothing and I think it's just vital, but for, for a few moments, my throat is completely a mess. Really? I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I'm okay. okay. All right. Good, good. What about you, Lourdes? How was your day? Oh, well, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss this, this course. Why? <laughs> because section one and two, uh, I have problems with the answer, and I wrote to Marvin, but he didn't answer me. Really? When, <laughs> when did you write him? In the chat. Okay, was it today? Yesterday and today. Okay, let me ask him, um, because imagine that um, there are many people that they have uh, different situations in the platform. So I'm going to ask him, maybe if you want to send me your full name so I can ask him. Ah, okay. Uh, where? And, uh, to the chat, send it to my, to my WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Yeah, just send your name and a, a brief explanation on the type of problems you're having with the platform. Oh, okay, okay. I will chat you later. All right, yes, please. Thank well, don't, don't leave the course. <laughs> Federico, how was your day? Federico? Hello. How was your day, Federico? Uh, it was very busy. It uh -huh. was crazy. Okay. But at, at the end of the day, it was, it was good. All right, good. So I guess that for everybody, you know, this time of the year, people, people have uh, more work. Because you finish the year, you have to make final reports and you want to leave everything complete for the new year, right? That's right. Yes. Okay. So that's, uh, it, it's normal. You know, almost all the companies, they, they have the same situation. Okay, anyways, um, briefly, uh, do you remember what we did yesterday? Somebody, anybody? Ricardo, Marco, Julia, Daniel. We were talking about tag questions. Tag questions, aha. Uh -huh. And what yeah. is the function of tag a tag question? To confirm opinion about something. Yes. Um. Yes, you, you have questions to confirm. Um, something you previously say and many times that is related with an opinion what else what else um, the first conditional we were talking about first conditional yes second conditional too very good. What is the first conditional, people? We use the structure uh, simple pass. And uh, with the first and conditional? With the, yes. And the first part and the second one, we use the simple simple future. Okay, so the first part is simple present. 
Yes. And the second part is future. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Now remember, you can change the order of the structure. And you can yeah. say, um, if you don't drink water, your kidneys will suffer. Or you can change the structure and say, your kidneys will suffer if you don't drink water. So you can change the position and the message is exactly the same. <coughs> <coughs> yes, you. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. What, was that sneezing or coughing? <laughs> or a combination of both? <laughs> or a combination. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so that is the first conditional. Something that you do now, it has a result in the future. Um, and today, we're going to be talking about the second condition. And when we um, start the new level, we will use the third conditional. The third conditional has more information and um, you can be familiar with two different structures, which is the past models and the past perfect. But we're gonna be talking about that uh, later. Um, do you have any questions about yesterday? Not teacher because I wasn't yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. I had to study. You teacher, were asked. Teacher, had you uh, upload the video? Not the yet. Class. Uh, I'm going to upload the videos tomorrow. So, okay. for example, if let's say you were absent last Thursday, which was October 30th, you go yeah. to the channel and you look for the video with the date October 30th. And then okay. you can see the different things we did during class. Okay. All right. So yes. Um, anything else before we start today's session? No? No. Nope. All right. So let's start with the first one. Uh, our first activity is related with the um, first and second conditional. Do you see the document? Yes. Okay. Now, the one on the left side, these are the exercises uh, we were doing yesterday, the first conditional. After we discuss the function of the second conditional, we're going to do this. So let's begin with the first one, which is uh, a little bit easier. Can somebody um, do the first exercise? What? Number one. If you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. Okay. You will. Get. Uh huh. If you, you will. Exactly. Now, you will get orange. If you squeeze an orange, you will get orange juice. You will get orange juice. However, however, the example that she gave is also correct. But that one is zero conditional. If you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. So the answer is good, but it's a different conditional. Okay. Now, if we're talking about okay. the first conditional, you guys got to make sure that whatever you do now, has a result in the future. So if you squeeze an orange, you will get orange juice. Very good. Uh, another volunteer for number two. Uh, me? Yes, please, Julia. Okay. You will put on some more weight if you eat too much sugar. Very good. You will put on some more weight if you eat too much sugar. Very good. Uh, someone else, number three. If you, okay. if you study a lot. If I. If I, sorry. If I study a lot, I will pass the year. Good. If I study a lot, I will pass the year. Very good. Number four. Okay. If you press that button, the machine will stop functioning. 
Very good. Number five, another volunteer. Somebody? If you don't apologize, she won't forgive you. Good. If you don't apologize, she will not forgive you. So in that case, we have double negative in the conditional. Yeah. Very good. Number six. If you wash the dishes today, I will dust the house. Very good. Do you guys remember the meaning of dust? No, teacher. Uh, polvo. Okay. Sacudir. Sacudir. Yeah, verb. in this case, it's a verb. Yes. It's a verb. Yes, it is. So if you wash the dishes today, I will dust the house. Yo sacudiré la casa. Yes. So remember that in English, one word has different, uh, it can be a verb and it can also be a noun. So if you want to use dust as a noun, it's polvo, but in this case, it's a verb. So it means sacudir. All right, number seven. Like mop. Um, number seven. What will happen if I press this button? Good. What will happen if I press this button? Yes. Okay, uh, going back to number six, when we say dust, dust, um, you usually do it on tables, pantries, yeah. superficial areas, superficial mm -hmm. areas. Okay, number eight, another volunteer. If we don't recycle, uh number eight uh, excuse me go ahead is there is is the reason is there isn't enough water enough water in the next four years many people will die very good if there isn't enough water in the next few years many people will die very good number nine Another volunteer. If we don't recycle, we will put our own survival to at risk. Very good, Martin. If we don't recycle, we will put our own survival at risk. Very good. Number 10. Someone else. It, it will be damaged if you press it too much. Very good. It will be damaged if you press it too much. Very good. Next one. If you touch if you the touch. dog, it will be bite you. It will bite you. Yes, if you touch the dog, it will bite you. Very good. Last one. Students get will get good marks if they study regularly. Very good. Students will get good marks if they study regularly. Very good. So I see that we're doing okay with the first conditional. Any questions? No, question. no? Okay, now that all this information is fresh, now, now we go yes. with the second conditional. Now, the second conditional, we use the second conditional to talk about things that are not true when you're speaking. Uh, to use the second conditional, you need simple past tense. Positive or negative, you need to use the simple past tense. How do you say, si yo no usara lentes? If I, talk, if I, I didn't don't. use glasses. If I didn't wear. Very good. If I didn't use, if I didn't wear. The two options are good. So when the information is negative, you have to use didn't. Now let's use the opposite. How do you say, si yo usara lentes? If I, I use, use or if I uh, work. If I used glasses, what is the past tense of wear? Work. So you say, if I wear glasses, if I use glasses, 
So it doesn't matter if the sentence you're using is positive or negative, you have to use the simple past structure, right? How do you say, si yo no tuviera carro? If I didn't have I didn't. a car. Very good. If I didn't have a car. Let's do the opposite. Si yo tuviera carro. If I had a car. Very good. If I had a car. So as you can see, when you say, si yo tuviera carro, that means that the person doesn't have a car. So it's hypothetical. Yeah, hypothetical. Yes, it's hypothetical. So when you want to use the second conditional in English and the idea is hypothetical or when you're speaking, the action is not true, you have to use the simple past tense. Um, there is one exception. If uh, I were. Yes. Um, what are the three forms of verb to be in present? Are, uh, is, uh, are. Um, um, is, are. Um, is, are. Um, is, be. Very good. Am, um, is, are. Those are the three forms of verb to be in present. What are the two forms of verb to be in past? Was, was and were. And were. Was and were. Was and were. Very good. Now, when we use the second conditional, we use simple past. However, with the second conditional, was doesn't exist. So you have to use were with all personal pronouns. So if I say, si yo fuese usted, how do you say that in English? If, if I, I were, were you. you. If I were you. you. Very good, if I were you. How do you say, si usted fuese ella? If, if I were, were her, you were her. If you were, if you were her. Oh, okay. How do you say si ella fuese usted? If she were you. If she were you. If she were you. Yes, if she were you. How do you say si usted estuviese aquí? If you were here. If you were here. You were here. You were here. How do you say si yo estuviese en la playa? If I were at the beach. I I would at the beach. Very good. So every time, every time that you use the second conditional, remember, was doesn't exist. You need to use were. You need to use were. So okay. if I were you, if you were me, right? Okay, so let's do the first exercise. Uh, to make sure that we're on the same page. Uh, volunteer for the first one. Now, keep, keep something in mind. Keep something in mind. When you are using, okay, listen, listen. When you're using the second conditional, um, it's something that is not true. So the complement of the sentence can be could, <clears throat> or would okay. if i were you i would study for the um, final exam okay very good if i were you i would study for the final exam for the final exam uh -huh. very good what about number two another volunteer if my parents were, were rich. very good if my parents were rich no? I wouldn't need to work so much. Very good. I wouldn't need to work so much. So when you say, if my parents were rich, that means no, that in reality, I will have a porch teacher. What? I will have a porch. Good. Porch car. Sure, sure. If my parents were rich, I would have a, a porch. Have a porch. Yes. If my parents were rich, I wouldn't catch la 79 to lower this. I would travel around the world. Teacher, teacher, I have a car right now, teacher. Excuse me. Good, that's good. No, oh my God, that was, that's pretty good. Excuse us. I excuse that, teacher. Okay, what about number three? If Sarah... 
If Sarah had a good hair, I could understand her text. Exactly. If Sarah had a good handwriting, I could understand her texts. That mm -hmm. means that means that Sarah doesn't have good handwriting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce this word? Text. text. Okay, text is singular. What is the plural form? Text. 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 Uh -huh. I don't know. Texas. Text. Text. Texts. Texts. Text. Okay, so listen carefully. If it's singular, you say text. If it's plural, you say texts. Text. Text. Okay. Texts. Text. Yes. Text. Okay, Text. what about number four? If my computer... If my computer font properly, I will use it in more, more often. Okay, what is the form of function? Function. Very good. Very good. ED at the end. ED yeah. at the end. If my computer functioned properly, properly, I, I will use, use it, more, it often. more often. Very good. Very good. What about number five? Hmm. Well, yes. You will be healthier if you eat less. You were healthier. Okay. Uh, not really. Not really. If, if you were healthier, okay, you will be healthier if you. Okay, you have to change it. Okay. okay, listen, remember this. Remember this. One part of the sentence has to be in past. The other one is could or would because it's hypothetical. So, one more time, what is number five? You will be a healthier. If you ate less red meat. Very good, Nadia. You would be healthier if you ate less red meat. Mm -hmm. What's the message? This person eats a lot of red meat. Mm -hmm. Right? Is number five clear? Yes. yes. Okay, what about number six? If we eat more more vegetable, uh -huh. our body will be healthier. Very good. If we ate more vegetables, our body would be healthier, could be healthier. The two, options, be healthier. Are good. The two options are good. Okay, what about number seven? Ooh. I don't know what is tidy. <laughs> What's tidy? Tidy means to clean. Mm. Uh, what tidy. is the of tidy? Tidy, tidy up. Uh huh. It's clean. Uh, Maribel, do number seven, please. Uh, if you have your bedroom every day, it's not. Be, no, no, no. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, someone else. If, if you. I don't know the path. You tidy, tidy it up. Yes. Tidy it up bedroom uh, yeah. every day. If it, you wouldn't be in, be in a mess. Very good. Very good. Okay, what about the next one? Number eight. Chores. Do you remember the meaning chores. of chores? No, chores. Uh, I don't know. Do chores myself. Okay, can, can, can you give me examples of chores? What is chores? chores? It is like an assignment for, uh, I don't know, for two things at home. Task? Yes. Like task. Chores makes reference to the different activities that you have to do in your house. Can you mention chores in your house? Uh, mop, mopping, mop, mop the floor, cooking. wash the dishes, dusting, 
Hamburg like oh ho oh, house oh, 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 oh. gardening yes gardening how do you say trapear in english map mapping sacudir dust aha arreglar la cama do the bed make the bed make the bed make the bed, make the bed. Okay, so what best. is the answer for number eight? <clears throat> I didn't the shorts myself. In no, I couldn't uh -huh. buy the shorts myself mm -hmm. if I have more money. Very good, Julia. <laughs> I wouldn't do the chores myself if I had more money. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't do. Yes, I wouldn't do the chores myself <coughs> if I had more money. more money. That means that this person is doing the chores because she doesn't have enough money. Okay, what about number nine? We could stay in some house if he lived in a big house. Very good. We could stay in Tom's house if he lived in a big house. So I've been mute in the, in the last question, but chores is when a person do it things in, at, at your house for you, for right? Yes, <laughs> like like sweeping, but, but, do the but laundry. Sure are the actions that the, the person doing the different activities that you do in your house? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Housework. Well, yeah, housework. Housework. Yes. What about number 10? Don't hit the baby. There could be confrontation with the two opposite Appeared. Appeared. Okay, so okay, so one person, please give us the, the complete yeah. answer. There could be confrontation if the two opposite leaders appeared. Very good. Okay, Pastor. There could be confrontation. There would be confrontation if the two opposite cheerleaders appeared. <coughs> appeared. And the last one. Anybody? If they knew more vocabulary, they would be able to understand more easily. Very good. Nice. Good, good, good. So everybody digested this topic easy. That's good. Questions? In the last sentence, Yes. Can I use uh, understand easier instead of more easily? Sure. Yes, you can. You can say they will be able to understand more easily or they will be able to understand easier. Yes, you can. You can use the comparative or you can also use the, the adverb. So the two options are good. All right, um, any questions? All right. No question. All right, uh, so let's do some speaking. Uh, did you see the image that I sent to the, to the chat? What's up? Yes, what's up? Okay, let me so, check. So right there, um, let me see if I have this here. We have like a, we have a 10 questions. Yes. Do you see the document in the computer right now? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the same image that I sent to the WhatsApp chat. And this is the, these are the 10 questions you guys will be practicing. And, but it's not only practice, you have to use the, the first conditional. For example, the first one, what will you do if you miss your family and friends? So some of these questions, 
you pretend that you are in another country. Okay, remember, try not to make noise when we're, doing, when we're in the conference. Okay, um, are the questions clear? Um, I think so. Questions clear? Questions clear? I think it's clear. All right, so let me make uh, four groups or five groups. Five, two, five, two. Let's make four groups. And here we go. Hello. Lourdes, Maribel, Julia, and Gilberto. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready for the discussion? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is the first question? What, what would, would you do with me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Friend. Friend. Okay. Who wants to answer that one first? What will you do if you miss your family and friends? Me? Okay. Yes, Julia? Okay. If I miss my family or friends, I will call all days. Good. I will call them every day. Very good. Gilberto, what do you do if you miss your family and friends? I uh, I will uh, send a message. I uh, send an email uh, every day. An image. Image. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Lourdes, what will you do? Well, another thing thing I will do. Uh, could be to save money to go to visit them. Very good, very good. I will save money to visit them. Nice. Teacher, I need to leave the session for a minute. Okay, don't worry, Julia, go ahead. All right, so continue with the second question. Okay. Go ahead. Number three what will you do if you can't stand the heat uh-huh what do you do if, if you can't stand the heat stand. i i don't understand the phrase the idea okay can stand the heat okay let me let me uh let me ask you this what is the hottest period in El Salvador in terms of weather. What is the Holy, hottest period? Holy week. The Easter week. Very good. So what do you do if the weather is too extreme? What do you do? Oh, okay. Uh, you should go and take a, take a bath. Take a shower. Shower, so you said, yeah. I will take a if shower I, every hour. My God. I would take a shower every if I hour. couldn't stand the heat. Okay. Another if solution? I, if maybe, I, uh, maybe I could go to the river. Maybe what? I could go to the river. Okay, good. Or to the pool. Uh-huh. Yep. There's another solution. Sure. I get into the pool. I will get into the pool. Good. Yep. Yeah, I will get into the pool. You say, look, if the temperature is too extreme, I will go to the pool and stay there for three hours, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. I will good. get into the refrigerator. Exactly. The refrigerator. That's a good idea. <laughs> but you need a big, uh, you need a big fridge. A big fridge, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or first yeah. you need to evacuate all the food, make the space, and then you go in. <laughs> okay. I, saw, I saw that in the, the Simpson series. Uh-huh. Homero, Homero Simpson. Okay. 
So he there. he put the food out and then he went inside? Yep. Yep, that's it. All right, good. All right, go to the next question. Okay, uh, guys, what will you do if you want to... Someone from Africa or Asia, it 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 makes a, a it takes a lot of work to understand them. It's very hard for me to understand them. Uh, Japanese or China, they uh -huh. are very hard for me to understand. Right. Okay. I don't know if you had before that problem. Which one, Nidia? Uh, for example, I I was in a meeting with people from Sri Lanka, Papua New Guinea, and China. And uh, the people of China speak very well English, but from Sri Lanka, I didn't understand anything. Even to, even to to spell my name was hard for them because they they don't pronounce some syllables. Okay. Yeah, people from those countries, many times they have a strong accent. Even yeah. Chinese people, they have a strong accent. So maybe the ones you were speaking with, you know, they have a lot of practice with the language. Yes. But many times it's also normal. Um, you have difficulties to understand Chinese people. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. So sometimes I I get lost in the conversation or just listen the sounds only because I, I didn't understand them. Yeah, it, it's normal. It's normal. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you can have good listening skills, but if the other person doesn't have good pronunciation, it, it's not your fault. Yes, because I, I was with a girl of Laos and I thought she she speaks like a like a baby because she couldn't um, pronounce the R's so she changed it for L. So I, I thought she she speaks like a baby. Okay. Yep. And that is common because we, in other languages, there are some sounds that don't exist yes. in their mother tongue. So when they're used the language, you know, the mother language interferes. Yes. Okay. What do you think, Evelyn? Sorry? What do you think? What is your opinion to Nidia's uh, experience? Mm, I had um, the same problem when I was in New York, and but with people who speak English uh, from, I think they are from India. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And it was very difficult to me to understand them. Yeah, Indians have a, a strong accent too. Mm hmm. You know, many years ago, the Philippines and India, they were like the two main countries where they had call centers. Mm -hmm. But people began to complain about the accent they have there. And they say, look, we don't understand people from India. We don't understand people from the Philippines. And that's one of the reasons why uh, they are... They and they're coming to El Salvador because our accent is more neutral, you know, mm. compared with Filipinos and compared with people from India, our pronunciation is really well. Mm -hmm. yes. yep. Okay, go to the next one. Um, the, the number three is about the weather. What will you do if you can't stand the heat? Yes, when the when the temperature is too extreme. Yes, yes. it's about the weather. Well, mm -hmm. uh, in a full English account, that is just uh, two times. So, 
That is the reason you speak very well. So, mm, well, it's not, it's not kind of it, but it, because even if you work in a call center, I just have faced a lot of problems since I used to have accents. The tip in order to, uh, in order for you to uh, just like eliminate that accent, it's to learn how to yes. gesticulate better. The gesticulation okay. is, it's just like when you are talking to, you will have to emphasize mm -hmm. how you are pronouncing each word. So uh. if you start marking each word, Yes. One by one, in a, in a normal speed, that is going yes. to allow you to improve your pronunciation. As well, the tongue twisters, just like the one that... Uh, uh, tongue twisters. The, <laughs> the tongue twisters, yes. Just like the one mm -hmm. that the teacher has provided to us, that is going to allow you to improve your fluency. Okay. True. Uh, I don't know if uh, I, I completely agree with Robert. Uh, I don't know if you guys had the chance that when you speak with a person and this person doesn't articulate, it, it's more difficult to understand what they're saying. Now, okay. when, the person, when the person articulates, uh, everything is easier. So if you don't have any interruptions while you're talking, then your fluency gets better. Okay. Okay. Which question are you doing? What number? Number two, teacher. The, uh, the number two. Uh, maybe we can move to the third one. No, uh, you, you don't have to go fast. Okay. Number three is related with the weather. Um, what, what is the doing? what is what is the hottest period of the year in El Salvador? What? Summer. The, summer. But summer. what is summer? Sunny Holy days. Week. Okay, Holy Week. Holy Week. Um, in other words, when we talk about March and April, those are usually yeah. the hottest uh, time of the year in El Salvador. So what do you do when the temperature goes uh, extreme? I will take a shower. Okay, you take a shower every two we hours. We turn maybe. on the, how do you say, ventilador? <laughs> fan. Fan. Uh, what? So you turn on the fan. So on the, yes, yeah, the fan. Okay, good, fine. Or maybe I go out and you wear a short glove. Sandals, sunglasses, and how do you say? Um, bloqueador, how do you say, teacher? Sunblock. 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 Okay, yes. good. Keep talking, keep talking. Okay, I don't know if someone can add his opinion. There. Rick and Federico. What? What will you do if you, oh no, what will you do if you want to move back to your home country? What will you do if you want to move back to your home country? Oh, for a long time or without destination, so I have time to return, so I just take the plane. Or the bus, it depends. Okay, and the others, Martin, I, Evelyn? I guess, I guess if I work in a different country for my own, I and I really want to move back, uh, I, I, the first, 
No, I am, I, I started, I just started the fourth part. Hello. How are you? We finished the practice okay. goal. Okay, so you finished all the questions? Yes. Okay. So you guys don't have more conversation? <laughs> we were talking about the platform. Oh, what are, are you guys completing um, all the exercises with the platform? No, right now I, I'm starting the third part. Okay. But teacher, it is so difficult when you need to to write all sentences because if you don't put an space or I may another things it is incorrect the sentences. Right, you have to be very careful with punctuation spaces. But remember what I told you at the beginning that uh um. Even if your answer is good, sometimes the platform will read it as if he were wrong. But don't worry about that because we are aware that the platform sometimes acts a little bit strange. However, try to be as perfect as possible and make sure that you include all punctuation when you're giving your answers. Yes. What about the access to the audios and everything? Do you guys have access to everything? Yes. You don't, don't have, have you don't have any inconvenience? No. Okay. Yeah, now remember that sometimes if you have inconvenience, it's because maybe you are trying to use it at the same time that many people are using it. So maybe you want to try later. Yes, the first time uh, I had problems with that. Okay. With the audio. Right, right. So when the platform has too much demand, you know, it, it's gonna be more difficult for you. Any other questions or comments about the platform? Only that. Okay, so let's return to the main I lost, session. I lost the patient, teacher. Really? Don't lose it. <laughs> That's the last thing you need to lose, uh, uh, Maryville. <laughs> okay. All right, let's return. All right, uh, were you able to finish all the questions? Yes. Okay, so even yes. if, okay, so even if you were not able to finish for one reason or another, um, you guys get the idea of how we use the first conditional, something that you do now with a result, um, in the future. Any questions about that? No question. No? No. Now, let's talk about the situation in El Salvador. There are many things that we could change. Um, now, when you would talk about changes, in that case, you need to use the second conditional. So uh, you could say, if people respected the law more, our culture would be better. That means that many people don't respect the law. How do you say pasarela in English? Footbridge. Footbridge, very good. How do you say, si la gente ocupara las pasarela, tendríamos menos accidentes? If the people used the footbridge, what, the, what do you say? The another. Tendríamos uh, menos accidentes. Uh, we uh -huh. will have less accidents. Very good. 
So ah, if sí. people, if people used, used the footbridge, we would have less accidents. Accident. Yes. Uh -huh. Hola, how do you Julio say? How do you say? Si tuviéramos leyes más estrictas. Uh, if we have, uh, we have a stricter law. If we had stricter, stricter law, stricter, stricter law, law uh -huh, we would be better. Mm, we would be better. We would be secure. No stricter. I think that the government or the, how do you say, authority? Authorities. Authority. Uh, had to uh, practice it and the chair I lose the idea. Okay, don't worry. What if you <laughs> said um <laughs> si la economia estuviera mejor? If the economy were better. Would be better. Uh 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 we're if better. Uh, yes. Listen we're to Federico. Better. Listen to Federico and Ricardo. He says, if the economy were better. We're better. We're yes. Better. We're better. La gente no se iría. The people wouldn't, wouldn't live. Wouldn't, El Salvador. Wouldn't live. Wouldn't live, yeah. Very wouldn't good. Wear, go away. Okay. So you said, if the economy were better, people were better. wouldn't live. People wouldn't leave. Okay. How do you say si el país fuese más seguro? If the country were safety, uh, safer, safer. 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 Yes. la gente estaría contenta. The people, people will, have will be happy. happy. Will be happy. People would be happy, or you can say people could be happy. So, okay. okay, so I see that you guys are, um, the first conditional is not a new topic for you, and you and the same thing with the second conditional. You guys are doing really good. Um, do you have any questions about today? No, no, teacher. no, teacher. no. Oh, clear. okay, so, oh, clear. Yes. all right, so once again, thank you for connecting. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Ah, teacher, I have a question. Okay, have a question. Yes, no worries. I, I, last night, I just started to the section four in the data form, but the topic is different. The topic is uh, uh, yes. relative clauses. Yes, 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 we'll be talking about that tomorrow. Ah, okay. Okay, yes. thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank okay. you. Bye, Bye, teacher. Thank okay. you. All right. Nice. You see Nidia? <laughs> All, right. All right, see you later. See you later.